Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's, today taking on the fictional village of Port Vale, which is apparently both a valley and a port, but like so many places in England, is actually made up. Uh, today, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith will be bringing you uh, silent commentary. AFC Wimbledon, top of the table, four points clear of Bristol City. Uh, Port Vale down in 15th. We're starting a bit of a B-team today as I figure out who my celebrity life coach should be. Uh, courtesy of Meredith's quiz. I don't know if Meredith wrote this herself. We'll just assume that she did. Um, right now, we're going to see... Oh, look at that. On the back of Lockyer, one of our uh, one of our star center backs, the beautiful DFTBA nerd Fighteria Crest. Uh, lots of pictures being taken in the background. It's an, just an exciting time to be alive, whether you're a Port Valian or a Wimbly Wombly like me. Um, I am. Uh, I just want to give you a quick introduction to the team before I start finding out who my uh, celebrity life coach is going to be. I already know it's going to be Drake, but um, we'll just have to get it confirmed. As you can see, Ginger Henry on the team today, uh, as well as Jago Jago, Lego My Jago, and uh, also Buckminster Fuller, our captain for the day, Ziggy Gordon, uh, Ginger Gordon out there uh, and right back, and uh, we got Meadsy in the game as well as Barcham, uh, Beersy, and uh, up front T. S. Eliot. And the Montserratian Messi, Lyle Taylor. All right, Meredith, what's my first question related to my, my celebrity life coach? What is most important to me? Um, what would Drake say in this situation? He would probably say crew or family. My, well, I think my family is more important to me than my friends in my particular instance. Not that I, I mean, I like you, Meredith, but in the end, I would choose my children. Um... Yeah, I just think if you've got a if you if you've got a happy family, um, everything else is a heck of a lot easier in life. That's that's what I think. Um, yeah. Uh, what what I like about Drake, if I can just before you get to the next question, is that uh, he doesn't say like started from the bottom. Now I'm here in in the classic song. Uh, he says, started from the bottom, now my whole crew is here. This idea that like it doesn't really mean anything to make to make it unless you make it with the people you love. Um and uh and all of you kind of all of you get there together to this to this promised land. Uh they were in alone on goal, but Port Vale inexplicably passed out to the left, giving me an opportunity to come back. Whew, there's the Montserrati and Messi. What's my next question, Meredith? Where do I hang out? Mostly at my house. Is that an option? Oh, it is. My bed. I do spend a lot of time in my bed because that's where I, that's where I usually write. Um, so I guess we'll go with my bed. Now I'm worried that it's going to be, I'm going to have some kind of Kardashian Jenner life coach. But that's all right. I could handle it. What's next? How do I spend my free time? I don't have a ton of free time, Meredith, to be completely honest with you. I guess hanging out with my family is not having free time an option. Working, I do kind of work in my free time, if we're going to be honest. Whoa! That came to nothing, but it was a beautiful idea by T.S. Eliot. It was a uh, scissor-kicking... Let's just take another look at it here, if we can. Oh, you were injured in that tackle? Oh, you got it in the head. That must have been uncomfortable. I'm sorry about that, sir. It wasn't my intention. Yes, next. My favorite movie genre? Ooh, that's a tough one. Because I like all I like all kinds of different movies. It just I like a movie that's a good example of its genre. So you know I can enjoy it. like I talked about before. I think I think two of the best movies ever made are The Notebook and Die Hard Four. Um, is there? I don't know what that genre is exactly, but movies that are very good at being what they are without trying to uh, pretentiously be about something else. Although I do enjoy a pretentious movie when it's successfully about something pretentious. I just feel that that's, you know, that's harder to do than Die Hard 4. Although then again, if Die Hard 4 is so easy to make, how can they made five lesser Die Hards? Um, what, uh, what, what, are the, uh, what are the options there? Thriller? Maybe. Oh! Oh, that was a thrilling finish almost by T.S. Eliot. All right. What's next? Rom-com? I enjoy a good rom-com. Especially ones that don't pretend to be about anything else, like Sweet Home Alabama and Wimbledon. Remember Wimbledon, where Reese Witherspoon was a tennis champion? She and Paul Bettany were two professional tennis players? It wasn't a realistic movie, but it was very enjoyable. What? Kirsten Dunst, thank you. That's an even less realistic professional tennis player than Reese Witherspoon. 
No, she was great in the movie. Don't get me wrong. She's a genius. I love... Oh, God. Panic. Panic. Oh, that might be a penalty. Yikes. Oh, an unnecessary slide tackle from Meadsy. And he gives up a penalty. No card, please. Oh, ref, come on. It was just, I just kept sliding. I was just sliding, and then I was still sliding, and I was like, how am I still sliding? And then I ran into the guy. I feel terrible about it. Hey, let's take a replay. Ooh, didn't get the ball there, did you, buddy? Although, uh, I have to say, when that happened to Autobiolock and Fenway a few games ago, they didn't call it a uh, penalty. It is frustrating, but you know what? The good, th good news is we've got... Oh, wait, we don't have Shea LaBeouf because I decided to start Dave Besant's son today who's like a 55 skill level. Oh, he skied the penalty! Oh, humiliation! Port Vale laid bare before us, naked and afraid. Oh, it's beautiful! Suck it, Port Vale. We're still in this game. All right, Meredith, what's my next question? Oh, action movies, thrillers. Wait, thrillers and action movies are different? What's the difference? Um, I'll tell you what, man. They make a lot of they make a lot of genre male centric genres. They're mixing thrillers and action movies. I don't know. Oh, ah, oh, God, T. S. Eliot. I need you to crash the boards on that one. Um, animated, no. Rom comedy. I enjoy good comedy as well. Rom com. Rom com. Rom com. I always thought The Fault in Our Stars was kind of a rom com. Um, but it had it has a weird uh, obstacle, you know. Like usually the obstacle is like, but she's married. And it's just a different, yeah. It's just, I've always thought of it as a as a comedy deep down, though. Um, it's just a comedy where like it's a little, it's some it's some sad parts. Uh, what's the next question? My wardrobe go to jeans and a button down shirt is probably my wardrobe go to. Is that an option? Oh. and Messi. No, wait. Is that T.S. Eliot? Who scored the goal? In stoppage time of the first half. I believe it was T.S. Eliot. Where is the Montserratian and Messi in that situation? He should be on the other side. Whatever. It's T.S. Eliot. This is how the world ends, my friends. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, man. I'm almost in tears from that goal. Uh, sorry, what was I saying? Why did I say The Fault in Our Stars is a romantic comedy? I don't believe that to be true at all. A good pair of jeans, but not just a good pair of jeans, because that would be weird to go out in that. I <laughs> to mean, I always wear something up top as well <laughs> when I'm going out. So I would say a good pair of, is just a good pair of jeans is not the correct answer. What are the other options? Yoga pants again. <laughs> what's going on above the waist? <laughs> all right, what's next? What else? Heels? Well, that is especially inappropriate. <laughs> and I'm just going to go with a good pair of jeans, I guess. <laughs> um, what do you, what's your go-to uh, go-outside outfit? Oh, I just wear shoes. <laughs> oh, man. I love these questions. All right. Keep going. What's next? Oh, we only have two more questions. Well, the second half has just started, Meredith. And the Montserratian Messi is passing! And, oh, how did that not result in a goal? Oh, it's heartbreak. It's heartbreak for Andy Barcham, who did everything right, except the finish just left a little bit to be desired. But, oh, it's nice of them to put that player there already, knowing that that's what I want to do. Jago, 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 Jago. Come on, Jago. Run, Jago. Run, Jago. Run, Jago, Jago, Jago. It's a goal from a corner kick! It's one of the rarest miracles of God! A goal from a corner kick! Jago, 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 Jago! Jago, 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 Jago! Jago, 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 Jago! Jago just scored a goal! I also got another song for him. To the tune of Dicko. A Wimbly Wombly scored a goal, and Jago was his name. Oh, J E G G O, J E G G O, J E G G O, and Jago was his name. Oh, oh man, what's the second to last question? Choose a talk show host. Well, I can spend twenty minutes answering that question easily. Is Samantha B on the list? Are there any women on the list? Oprah. 
And Ellen. All right. Well, that's encouraging. Um, uh, I thought you meant like late night talk show. Uh, but if Oprah, I mean, look, uh, so I have an, I have an Oprah thing. Uh, I, I think like Oprah is like kind of, I think of Oprah kind of as my guide in everything, um, in all facets. Oh, it's gotta be, and it is. What a finish. What a magnificent finish from that man, the Montserratian Messi, the Cristiano Ronaldo from the Caribbean. Oh, oh. Lyle Taylor. It wasn't my best job. The Cristiano Ronaldo from the Islando from the, I don't know. I'm still working on it. I, if any, any help you can give me in terms of a uh, Lyle Taylor celebration, very, very helpful. At this point, it's gone from Port Vale having a penalty to go 1-0 up to a crushing, humiliating defeat of Port Vale, such that Port Valians uh, will have to return to their fictional homeland uh, forever changed and uh, indeed perhaps uh, forever ruined. So I love Oprah. I want to, uh, insofar as possible, run my life and my business as Oprah runs hers. I think she is an actual genius. I think she will be remembered as, like, indicative of the very best of the 20th century and uh, the early 21st century, and I I think she is a genius. Uh, So Oprah is my answer. Although I also, I think Ellen's great as well, Um, but Oprah. Wouldn't you pick Oprah? She's amazing. Do you watch any of her Where Are They Now stuff that she does now? Oh, she does some amazing Where Are They Now. She's just such an empathetic interviewer, so she always gets people to tell the truth. Um, Even when, you know, and it's just, she's just amazing. I am a huge fan of hers. Of course, she's not perfect. Nobody is. But, oh, she's just, she's amazing. Come on. Turn it around. Are we going to score on two corner kicks? No. No, we're not. Uh, But we're going to have another chance at a corner kick. Okay, Meredith, what's the final question before I find out who my celebrity life coach is? Ginger Ulrey on the ball. Choose a reality show to be on. None. Um, I would never, ever, 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 ever want to be on television, let alone on a reality show, because then you're on television and you're not making much money, which is a terrible combination. Like, the only thing worse, uh, yeah, I just, I cannot, I can't understand it. I don't, would you ever be on a reality show? Probably. Why? Why? No, you're not a horrible person. That's the thing. And I, but I think so, like, when I was in, uh, when I was your age, or slightly older, unfortunately, many years ago, I tried out to be uh, on the, um, this reality show, relatively early reality show called Temptation Island, where couples would go and they would stay at different islands and then, like, hot people would come and tempt you to leave your girlfriend or whatever. Um, and, I mean... I don't know that I would have done it if I'd gotten on. Like, I, I, I did it for, like, a piece that I was working on. But I was half, se- I was at least half serious about it. You know who's extremely serious? You know who's extremely serious? Lyle Taylor. The Cristiano Ronaldo from Monserrato. Nope. Still not good. Still not there. Um, the, uh, well, who's another, good, who's another good soccer player that rhymes with Montserrat? The uh, Rory DeLatte from Montserrat? No. But he's better than Rory DeLatte. Much better. The, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have it yet. I'm not, I'm not all the way there on Lyle Taylor. But I'll tell you what. He's all the way there on being the future of the Wimbly Wombly's. Today, he has shown you why you don't have to fear a future without Ball John Green as a Wimbly Wombly's fan. Because we're going to have Akin Fenwa and Lyle Taylor uh, together forever. Uh, they both signed five-year contracts, so they really will be together forever. Uh, it's and that's going to be a beautiful thing to watch. So, um, uh, what are the options? No, not Big Brother. Amazing Race, maybe, probably yes, just because Tyler Oakley's on it and he's cool. Master Chef, definitely not. Project Runway, definitely not. America's Next Top Model, I, I think I'd be a long shot for that. The more you talk, the better the amazing race is looking. Although, then I would probably have to bungee jump, which I can't do to save my life. Literally, I couldn't do to save my life. Um, all right, yeah, the amazing race. Who's my celebrity? Oh, wait! Wait! Oh, 
Oh, it's a magnificent finish. Oh, it's a beautiful finish from beer. From beer of all people. Beer with a beautiful turn. And then at the top of the box, 18 yards out, rockets it into the goal. It's beer. Oh, and I'm full of hope for the future of the Wimbly Wombly's beer, who's only 19 years old, a project, a product of our youth academy, just absolutely ripples the back of the net with a beautiful finish. And if you're a Wimbly Wombly's fan, you've got to feel that the future is bright. 5-0 with our B team against Port Vale, who could have been 1-0 up on a penalty. Meredith, who's my celebrity life coach? Jennifer Lawrence? That's fantastic news. That's even better than Drake. Jennifer Lawrence, what an amazing life coach she would be. Also, what a great guide to celebrity she would be. Like, she understands how to be famous in 2016 better than anyone else on earth, I think. Like, how to, how to hold on to your humanity and be happy uh, despite all the pressures and weirdnesses of uh, the objectification that accompanies celebrity. I am delighted to learn that Jennifer Lawrence is going to be my celebrity life coach. Do they have her phone number there or do I look it up later? How does that work? It's not there. Well, we'll work on that. Uh, thank you for watching. Congratulations to the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's. A magnificent, magnificent game that could have gone all wrong. Could have been 1-0 down. Instead, 5-0 up goals from Lyle Taylor, Lyle Taylor, Jago, Jago. It was a crazy, beautiful game. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.